Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by. And yes, this is my my face. I never thought I'd see it either. <laughs> but uh, I went to Minecon and I had such a blast. And uh, I thought it's about time that I show you the channel viewer. Uh, we had a little face to face, and I thought it'd be fun to look at my opinion of the top five best and worst things about Minecon 2015. So, without further ado, here we go. Number five. All right, guys, starting off with the top five best things about Minecon 2015. Now, remember, this is my own personal opinion, so you may or may not agree. But uh, at number five, I felt that the, the awesome connection between uh, Mojang and the Make-A-Wish Foundation was really, really spectacular. So if you didn't know, they did have, I think maybe like 20 or so kids from the Make-A-Wish Foundation who decided for their wish they were going to go to Minecon. And Mo Yang totally embraced it. In fact, they gave them front row seats at any um, any panel or whatever they wanted to do. Um, they got to their, meet their their heroes of YouTube, the YouTuber people, any panelists they wanted. They could meet in their little green room and all this stuff. Um, their whole trip was paid for, I believe. It was just, it was really amazing. I don't know if these kids were like nearing the end of their life which would be really really sad I hope that's not true or maybe they were um, maybe they were uh, severely handicapped where I unfortunately I didn't get to see many of them I talked to one of them and really cool kid you know as a father of three it would just it would be absolutely um, painful to see my child go through that so I totally wish them the best I hope they had the best experience they could and it's just amazing that Minecraft can bring joy like that to, to people's lives. I, I'm really, really proud to be a part of that community. Number four. Okay, number four. Best thing about Minecon 2015, in my opinion, was multiplay. So the people who actually ran the event itself, and uh, especially because I had been told in past Minecons, it wasn't really ran that well like it was a little disorganized you could not tell it 2015 minecon in london it was so awesome there was so much stuff going on even like in the diversity 2 speed run we had multimedia screens um like um like four screens at once and microphones and the live streaming and all this technology that had to come together and uh you know even the volunteers and the staff and the security even everybody came together and made a really spectacular event it was I, I think it couldn't have went down any better really as far as organization and the way that thing ran awesome job guys really impressed thank you so much number three all right guys moving on to number three best thing about minecon 2015 in london and that was mostly this guy named greg Ronowit, something like that. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but uh, all the props and sets that were all throughout the expo hall and the decorations and stuff. Oh, it was so awesome. There was like uh, trees, Minecraft trees that were you could walk under. There was like kind of a, like a little uh, old London set up there. There was a giant Minecraft Big Ben with an Ender Dragon flying around it. There was uh, a physical Minecraft pickaxe, very heavy. There was like uh, and Minecraft animals you could you had kids sitting on the horses. It was so awesome like Absolutely beautiful. You could look up you could see all this stuff and it was just really really well done Especially thanks to Greg who I think he's like a Hollywood prop guy. Uh, I think he did last year or maybe more than last year uh, or not last year But last Minecon a uh, well done man. It was absolutely a treat awesome job Number two Okay guys, moving on to number two best thing about Minecon 2015, and this is a bit of a cheaty answer because I was a part of one, but definitely for me was the panels, be it from map makers, and that was absolutely a blast talking to different people about diversity too and how it um, kind of was embraced by the community and the stuff behind that. But even the other panels that I wasn't a part of, the command block stuff, uh, even YouTuber panels, you know, special amazing build panels stuff like that all these panels were absolutely awesome that i went to i enjoyed it thoroughly i loved hearing the people who i had seen their uh projects on youtube hearing what they had to say from a personal level of what this 
this Minecraft game means to them and what they've accomplished. Absolutely awesome job by everybody involved in the panels this year. Definitely, definitely was a huge highlight for me. Number one. All right, guys, number one best thing about Minecon 2015, and this is a bit of an obvious one because I think anyone who went would probably agree that the best thing about Minecon is the people who come out to Minecon. So that includes all the map makers on the panel that I got to be a that I got to be a part of, and all the people involved in the speedrun event, and all of the YouTubers and concept creators who I met in like in the hallways and stuff, and taking pictures and. And even the kids, man, the kids that come up to me and like ask for my my autograph or uh, take a picture with me. I had these two brothers, and I think they were Italian, uh, but they watched an Italian YouTube uh, group called Eternal Love. It's a guy and a girl, and I love those guys. But uh, they played Diversity too. The the YouTubers played Diversity too, and these brothers were fans of the of this uh, this YouTuber, and that's how they knew me. And so they wanted to get the picture with me. And I uh, just, I'd, I'd love talking to all these people. I went to dinner with um, with different people every night. These people who I've been talking to over like the past year on Twitter or YouTube. And I finally get to meet them and, and spend time with them and their families. And just an absolute treasure. It's amazing how this little game can develop relationships from all over the world. They said that there was like 73 countries represented at Minecon this year. So definitely, definitely for me was um, was uh, number one, all the people who came out to Minecon. So that's a look at the top five best things about Minecon, the stuff that made it amazing. But <laughs> now we're gonna take a look at the top five worst things about Minecon. Mm. All right, guys, now we're going to take a look at the top five worst things about Minecon 2015. But before I start this list, I did want to let you know that Minecon was a huge success. I don't have any bad feelings towards it, but we did just spend a bunch of time praising it and saying how awesome it was. I think it's just as fair to take a look at some of the minor annoyances that I had. This list was a little bit tricky to come up with, but I came up with some items. And remember, this is my own personal opinion. So you may or may not agree, but I hope you enjoy. Number five. So at number five, what I've got is uh, what I call lack of break time or lack of food time. Uh, basically, there was so much stuff going on, and I talked about that earlier, that I didn't even have enough time to eat. I skipped lunch both days. I had late dinners. I missed the um, the one pyrotechnic event that everyone was talking about, that amazing um, uh, first night entertainment. I missed that because I was so hungry, and I had my wife there who doesn't so I had to make her happy um, so I sat there going oh man I gotta miss this well I guess I can watch it on you know YouTube later and go eat um, it was really difficult I wish they had just taken the whole half of the day and bumped it up a half hour so that we had like just a small break where I could go grab something to eat so I didn't have to miss any panels that was kind of you know that was sort of a good bad thing but still a little bit annoying but, you know, that's number five, and we have four more to go. Number four. Okay, number four. Bad thing about Minecon 2015 was this thing called blind meet and greet. So, what that was, was you had this fairly large gymnasium type room where you had a bunch of uh, YouTubers in there, different celebrities of Minecraft. And then you had this huge, huge line, like I, I heard it was like three hours long, or as the Europeans call it, queue. You had this huge queue and uh, you had to wait there to walk through and then finally you get to meet a YouTuber. But the problem was because it's blind, you have no idea who it is. So the big names this year was Stampy and Dan the Diamond Minecart. And because they're both uh, from the UK, a lot of the people at Minecon, probably more, were from the UK. So I'm thinking a lot of them are there to see those guys. And then when they finally get in there, it's like, oh, maybe they'll meet some other YouTuber that they might not even know. So that was really not a good idea. They should have just had a dedicated line, maybe 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, if I'm waiting for three hours to see my childhood hero, and then I finally get there, and it's somebody who, you know, it's just disappointing. I, that probably was should not have happened. But anyway, let's move on to number three. Number three. All right, number three. Bad thing about Minecon 2015. Now, this one's a little bit personal because uh, besides the people in the panel that I was really looking forward to at Minecon, this one here, I was really, really excited to finally get to see at Minecon the HoloLens. Now, that video came out from E3 where they showed that Minecraft demo and it looked so awesome. And they showed the live demonstration and then at the end, uh, Lydia said, oh, we're going to have even more stuff at Minecon when we have this huge celebration. So I'm like, oh, yes, we're going to see HoloLens on stage. I'm going to get to see this close up. And then they do the opening ceremony at Minecon. And she says, we don't have the technology to show the HoloLens here, but you can watch the E3 video. And I was just like, oh, come on, I want to see the HoloLens. That's like... It looks so awesome, and then at the and then at the end they're like, you know, don't worry because we're gonna give out 25 golden tickets, and if you get a ticket, you get to go spend 15 minutes with the Hololens. But they never said where do I get the ticket from. I had no idea. Oh, I just wanted to do the Hololens. Number two. All right, number two. <laughs> number two. Worst thing about Minecon 2015. And I, this is kind of be expected because I had heard this was the case in past Minecons. But uh, anyway, there was a major, major communication breakdown between the organizers and the people who are going to Minecon, and that includes myself. I saw it firsthand. So, for example, we had this thing called the Guidebook. It was uh, basically an app that told you all the panels and panelists that were um, happening during Minecon. We didn't even get that info until like two days before Minecon, seriously, or something like that. Three days before Minecon, no idea. I wasn't even on the list for crying out loud. Uh, besides that, when I first got there on day zero, we'll call it, like be the day before Minecon actually started, uh, I go to pre-register my ticket, and uh, oh, you're not on the list. They told me. Like, not on the list, like seriously, what do you mean I'm not on the list? I had to go back three times before I could find somebody who actually knew what they were talking about and could scan my ticket and give me my bat, oh my badge, this badge right here. Speaking of which, this badge, apparently this is a VIP badge because this gets you into green rooms where you can talk to any YouTuber or panelist who's there at Minecon. It gets you to uh, any panel that you want front row. It gets you in events early. It gets you not having to stand in a line or a queue as the Ameri or the uh, Europeans call it. I had no idea. Nobody even told me what this did until like the, the Minecon was almost over. I had a friend, uh, Dragnos, told me what it was all about. Nobody told me. Like I felt like I missed a bunch of stuff. I had to wait in, in a line for my own speed running event. Uh, I'm sitting there waiting to get into the panel. I couldn't find anybody. I talked to security. They had no idea. Oh, furthermore, the times in the uh, on the paper that they give you didn't match the times posted outside the actual rooms. There was just like a major lack of communication. It was pretty frustrating, but you know, there is one worst thing about Minecon 2015. Number one. More of a proposition than a question. Now, right. today is my birthday. It's not, I'm not gonna ask you to sing me happy birthday, but everyone spam cap in the chat and let's get a nice loud cap. Cap. No, you guys suck. Nope. Let's try again. I've got another question from Nick here. Nick? Everyone spend the cap in the chat! Cap! There's always one, isn't there? Yeah. It's not funny, guys. It really isn't. That guy is a jerk. And that's as simple as it gets. In fact, dude, if you're watching, um, don't ever bother coming back to Minecon. Seriously. Like, stay home. It's not funny. You're an idiot. You're a jerk. You think it's hilarious to grab a mic and, you know, yell whatever you yelled and high-five your friend just so that some kid with a legitimate question 
doesn't have the uh, doesn't have time to actually ask uh, their their YouTuber hero on the panel. Well done, classy move, dude. Mm -hmm. It just it, this type of behavior absolutely irritates me. Why would you come to Minecon, the celebration of Minecraft, with all these kids who love the game, and completely take that away from them? Like, are, are you, you think that's hilarious? And I was at the mod panel when he did this, and he did this more than once. But uh, I was shocked that security didn't haul him off. Like, if it was up to me, he would have been banned from Minecon. Mine, mine so, I don't... I hope you guys don't think that video is funny. Like, there, there's a... This, somebody put it on YouTube, and it has a bunch of views, and it's just... It's really frustrating that this is the type of behavior that we uh we promote and we encourage guys it's not funny it's just a waste of time and seriously the worst thing about minecon 2015 was that idiot but anyway that is my personal list of top five best and worst things about minecon 2015 in london hopefully you enjoyed that guys let me know in the comments if you disagree obviously it's my own opinion but uh you're free to have yours as well so let me know in the comments if even if you were there, if we bumped into each other, love to hear from you. But uh, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I don't know if this will be the last um, last vlog I do or not. Who knows if I'll do another one. But until then, guys, enjoy your Minecrafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye.